Hello, my name is Emil, you're watching Marva, and today's episode, I'm going to take a look at this software renderer. Um, it's quite an interesting project, I had a lot of fun coding it. It is based on Benny Box, I believe, yeah. I always get confused, he has two channels, Benny's Cube, where he does Minecraft stuff, and Benny's Box. And um, implementation, I'll link his, his tutorial in the description. I do recommend you try it, it's a lot of fun. And uh, as you can see here, I have the, how, how do you say that, Sponza model up. And um, <laughs> the culling algorithm is pretty aggressive. So the flow is one big, um, like, uh, quad that's made out of two triangles. And, well, as you can see, the, the um, there's only a few angles at which the floor doesn't completely clip out. <laughs> um, so yeah, and the, there's still a few of like normal bugs and so on. But I mean, we can look at a simpler example. If we um, load up the, uh, let's see, cube for example, I believe. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. I do believe the camera might be in the wrong position though. Yeah. Cool, let's move the camera. Um, so the camera is like down here. Right, so um, that should be a lot more sane. <laughs> there we go. Um, that should do the trick. That might need to be minus three, we'll see in a sec. Yeah, there we go, one Bob Ross cube. <laughs> but yeah, I really um, enjoyed this 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 project. I'll show you the rest of the code in a moment. Um, yeah, there you go. See, so it clips whenever the whole thing is off the screen. And uh, if we look at the code, uh, we're using um, Asimp to load the, the 3D models and then STB image to load the um, all the, the to load the textures and then um, yeah, so we're still learning C++, kind of. Like, uh, So this is Forge declaration is pretty terrible, and having everything in a header file is not good. Uh, since then, I've learned my lesson, but oh well. Um, yeah, so here we have all the the implementations. Um, so I, I was drawing some circles and stuff to debug, and here we have all the matrices. And um, the model, and the mesh itself, and then we have the image cache, so we don't triple load every image, and then the gradients, and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very interesting project, a lot of fun, and uh, I really do recommend you guys give it a go. Thank you.